Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see future DIYs. Today, I am taking an old rolling pin that I've had forever, and I'm going to freshen it up and turn it into a very fresh farmhouse rolling pin. So let's get started. I've had this forever, and I'm going to go ahead and transform it into something new. So I'm going to start by painting the entire center of it white. And if you know me, you know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to buffalo check this baby up. So I'm painting it white and I'm using this handy dandy little basket that I've had forever. So once that's dry, I am going to start my tape lines. I'm not going to go through the whole detour, detour details of how I do this. I will link down a tutorial of how to do a buffalo check if you don't know how in the description box but I'm doing my lines and then once I get all the tape lines down, I will go in with my favorite Waverly chalk paint in silver lining and paint the lines gray. Then I will remove the tape, showing my fresh lines, and let that dry. Now I do use a blow dryer to get that dry. Now that that's dry, I go in the opposite direction with more tape, and I will use the same silver lining chalk paint to paint those lines. And now going in with my final color, which is the Waverly Chalk Paint in Ink. And I'm painting the blocks, checks, squares, whatever. And then once that's done, I'll remove all of the tape. And then um, I use my blow dryer once again because I'm impatient. But this is my favorite part is removing all the tape. And you can see how awesome that the um, buffalo check comes out. So I'm using the same ink chalk paint to paint the ends and the handles because I really liked how um, the darkness made the metal pop. I didn't want to use white because I didn't want it to get dingy. So since this is going to be my kitchen, obviously it is a rolling pin. So I may decide to go back and Mod Podge it, but it's not anywhere near an oven or anything. I have it on a shelf, as you will see towards the end of this video. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just blow drying it to dry it off so I can continue to handle it. I paint both ends and then I didn't want to just leave it this way. It kind of looked plain, so I distress it first. Let me do this in order. Um, just to get some of that natural wood to come through, I make a little twine bow, just wrap twine around my fingers several times, tie it off, and then I'm going to glue it to the rolling pin. And that is it. Pretty simple. Um, I know it's an antique rolling pin and people are probably like, oh, what did you do to this? But I was just gonna, 
probably get rid of it anyway. So yeah, I love how it turned out. I think it gave it a very fresh new look. Here it is on my shelf. And I think it turned out so cute. I'm actually loving it. And it goes perfect with my little shelf that I made a while back. I'll link that down below if I can remember where I posted it. Oh, look, I still have some Christmas up. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.